Prominent leaders from the energy sector have gathered in Korea for the 22nd World Energy Congress to discuss the most pressing energy issues facing the international community. Our Yulian reports from Tegu. Over 5,000 delegates from more than 100 countries came together at the World Energy Congress 2013. The World Energy Council, which hosts a triennial event, said today's major energy issues represent the energy trilemma and include a depletion of natural resources, environmental pollution and climate change. The delegates called for a shift toward cleaner, renewable energy and a shift away from those that emit carbon dioxide. And one of the biggest issues is that coal and gas and fossil fuels will remain the one of the most predominant energy mix, energy fuels going forward. And whilst renewables have made a phenomenal increase in what they're doing, they still only a small percentage of the wider energy mix. As a country with limited natural resources, Korea is heavily dependent on imports of fossil fuels and coal, which accounts for around 70 percent of Korea's total energy mix. But the host city of the WEC, Daegu, also known as Korea's green growth capital, represents hope. Daegu declared a solar city in 2004. And on the occasion of this uh, 22nd World Energy Congress, Daegu has a very ambitious plan and target to make the renewable energy portion as high as 23 percent by 2022. At 6 percent, Daegu currently has the highest renewable energy proportion of any Korean city. It also houses the country's first solar power plant, which generates 200 kilowatts of electricity, and a pioneering R&D facility for recharging hydrogen fuel cell automobiles. But Daegu isn't alone in its green energy push. The Korean government's new energy draft announced on Sunday calls for reduced reliance on nuclear power by nearly half to as low as 22 percent by 2035 and an increased dependence on renewable energy from 5 to 15 percent. As global leaders discuss ways to create a more environmentally friendly and cost-efficient energy system, Korea too is taking its own steps to tap into the future of energy. Yuri Ann, Arirang News, Daegu.